Okay, so here I am again, uh, here with my heat press. I, uh, this is the towel I did in the last video. Um, let me see if I can hold it up where you can actually read it. Okay, and that's the one that took me like three different tries to get it to go right. Um, but I did, I read a, um, kind of a chart that said, uh, for cotton, you should go 305 at 30 seconds. That's worked out real well. I've done a couple more towels. One. There's the other. And today, I am going to do my very first t-shirt. So, what I've gleaned from online, we're going to swing this out of the way. Whew. Nice and warm. Um, I preheated it. So what we're going to do is, first thing we're going to do is we're going to press the shirt. Again, that helps get the moisture out. That uh, gives us a nice flat surface to work with. So I'm going to lay it down here on the pad. We'll swing away. Make sure I got that nice and straight. and. Got a couple of wrinkles there, but those should go away. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a full press just for a few seconds. Oh, God. And swing that away. And you'll see we got this nice, beautiful surface. Now, I've seen these. Um, charts that you can lay out and we'll show you where the center line is and that but again saw this nice little trick we take the shirt and we fold it exactly in half I mean we get this we get this lined up here and we'll get the collar lined up and the whole nine yards so it is we are right on center or so very close to it Okay, we will lay it across the bottom here, and again, just so we don't introduce any problems, make sure it's smoothed out and pulled out on the bottom and all of that. Oops. Slider in, into position, and this isn't going to take as much because all we need is to see that line. So I'm just going to push it down and then pull it up. Then when we come back, what we have is a center line that we can use for alignment. Oh! Okay. See my little bumper? I know you can see it in this one. That's so I don't... Can you see it? Yeah, there it is. That little bumper's on the wall because that's... When I swing it, it's exactly where it hits. So I don't want to accidentally swing too aggressively and uh, put a hole in the wall. So I'm going to put the t-shirt back on. I mean, this can swing 360 degrees. It'll go all the way around. Um, and you're supposed to put it toward the back so that you're not, there's no chance you're going to put anything under, you know, any fingers or anything underneath it and get burned. But I don't have the clearance in this room. So, I got my center line. I can, I can, I can see it. I don't. I doubt you guys can, um, but it's right there. It's visible to me now. I'm going to take my transfer, and I need to slide the shirt up. I'm going to go look at my pick. Should I just go for it? That looks off kilter to me. See, the reason, this is going to be for me. This shirt's going to be for me. I'm getting ready to do a shirt for my sister. And if I'm going to screw one up, I want it to be this one. 
All right, here we go. We're just gonna go for it. Slide that under. Clamp it down. Start my timer. I don't see nothing burned on the shirt, so I think we're all right. Okay, I'm gonna let that cool just a little bit. Let's see about peeling that off. Okay, looking good so far. I realized last time that I never showed you the finished product and you couldn't see it. You couldn't see it, you know, uh, when it was sitting on here. So let me hold this up. We'll slide this back in. Slide this over. That's all I'm doing right now. So we'll shut that down. And I'm going to clamp it down, actually. Put the Teflon sheet in there to protect that bottom while it's hot. And I'm just going to close it. And I'm not, so that's, that's how I'm going to store it. Let's see. I think, I think I got it. What do you guys think? Does that look good? Does that look nice and straight? Kind of centered? I think I got it. Y'all have a good day.